Aviv has been titled the gay capital of the Middle East. Some would even go as far as calling it the newest gay capital of Europe due to all the European tourists flocking it all year round, but especially during this period, in honor of the city's Gay Pride Week. The past uh, five years, we see um, big numbers, thousands of gay tourists from the United States and Europe who come to Israel every summer. We see a growing number of uh, those tourists who come here uh, that they want to uh, enjoy Tel Aviv. Tel Aviv is the highlight of gay Israel. It was chosen in a few gay magazines as one of the, the, the number one destination for gays in the world. Not only for the good looking guys that we have here in, in Tel Aviv and in Israel, due to the weather, the beautiful beach that we have in Tel Aviv, and of course the people of Tel Aviv that are very open and liberal, and they accept the gay people, or not only in Tel Aviv, but uh, those who come from abroad to uh, Israel. Nadav Peretz, an openly gay Tel Avivian, realized there was a great demand in the city for a gay travel agency, which will cater to the community and their needs. And so he co-founded Fabulous. We see uh, like huge numbers of gay tourists who come to Tel Aviv every year. They come, they enjoy, and the next year they come back and they bring their friends with them. And uh, in Fabulous Israel, we really bring them the best of Israel. We would like to show them, like, not only Tel Aviv, but also other, other places in Israel. Peretz's travel company hosts gay visitors from around the world, takes them around, and shows them a good time. I came with my friends to have fun, to visit. I've heard a lot of Tel Aviv. Uh, it's, like, really important in the gay scene now. I didn't expect that. It's incredible. Like parties every day, a lot of things to see, the, beach, the beaches, the, yeah, I'm speechless, it's crazy. Very nice, because there's a little oasis, like let's say, in, in, in the middle of Israel, which is very, very tolerant. Tel Aviv is like the new gay capital of Europe, I guess, yeah, basically. Uh, why? Because it's, it's got great beaches, it's got great nightlife and hot men, so what more do you need, basically? This week, it is estimated that the city will host about 20,000 gay tourists. And in addition to boutique travel agencies, many boutique hotels open their doors to gay tourism as well. Most likely, um, gays will be interested in smaller hotels um, that, are, that have strong attention to details and to design with a personal touch, with uh, good location, proximity to all the uh, cool places around, you know, fun places like bars, clubs, not very far from the beach, preferably to the gay beach. You know, and, and, and good service. Gays like to enjoy life. It's the basket. The, the weather is perfect with the beach, uh, the gay life is perfect uh, over here. Shopping, uh, cultural, so it's a nice combination. Of, uh, the food, oh, the food is, deli <laughs> is delicious. And you got your eyebrows done? I got my eyebrows done, yes. <laughs> Colors and shapes. And you also got your eyebrows done? Yeah, also got my eyebrows done. <laughs> How do you do it? I'm not, I don't even know. Because otherwise I have a unibrow. So you have to look good, of course, for this week. Tel Aviv was conquered by, they say, 20,000. We feel as if it's 40,000 um, uh, gay tourists. More than 50, 60% of the hotels are gays. And, um, well, usually it's about 10%. Tel Aviv allocates approximately $500,000 to gay-friendly activities. Its mayor, Ron Khuldai, who is known for his support of the local gay community, is currently in the race for re-election. However, his opponent, Nitzan Horowitz, is an openly gay member of Knesset and may possibly sway the gay vote. Some of my friends support Nitzan Horowitz, not only because he's gay, because he's a really, really, really great guy that did a lot to Israel and did a lot for human rights in Israel. And, but also Ron Khuldai did a lot of stuff for the gay community, so uh, it's going to be an interesting race. I don't think all gays are going to vote automatically to Nitzan Horvitz. It's going to be like a nice competition. With so many locals living an openly gay life in Tel Aviv, tourists are quite pleasantly surprised and feel welcome to take part in all the fun. The gay locals are really friendly, actually. They just come to me and they start speaking where, where you come from and uh, how long you're staying, want to go out and just... Yeah, really friendly. I've been to other countries here in the Middle East as well, and uh, well, of course, it's not really accepted to walk hand in hand or anything like that. And over here, it's absolutely no problem uh, at all to uh, uh, 
you're almost uh, a majority here uh, in Tel Aviv nowadays, I think, uh, especially this week. Tel Aviv is totally uh, a gay mecca. We are totally, you can say, totally straight friendly. We accept all kind of people, even if you're straight, you're um, a respectable citizen of the community in Tel Aviv. I'm just kidding, of course, but Tel Aviv is very gay in the sense that it's very happy, it's very laid back. Tel Avivians are very open-minded and liberal, and uh, we love the, the tourists to come here, and they feel very much at home. The Tel Aviv municipality's highlight event is the annual Gay Pride Parade, celebrated by locals and tourists alike, and featuring gays, lesbians, bisexuals, and transgenders. For JN1, I'm Sivan Arviv, Tel Aviv.